Hi, it's April with Hair 101, and I'm going to show you how to do finger waves. Today, we um, have Daisy as our model. Now, this is really popular for costume hair or, or um, proms or dances if they have themes. It'd also be really great for like pageant hair or whatever, or just because it's cute, because it ends up turning going really pretty and you can leave it in for a few days. So. So we're going to need hairpins, and if you don't have hairpins, you can use just regular bobby pins too. I'm going to be using the hairpins. Um, they're pretty much the same. And you're going to need a firm hold gel. And you might even want to use like a spritz hairspray too. You could use a liquid texture spray if it's a really, really strong hold one, firm hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part her hair. get it. So, um, really, really wet, just freshly washed. It can still be dripping. We're going to need it to stay wet while we're working with it. So, um, you're going to do the part over one of the eyes. I'm going to do her left eye because that's where we part her hair, but you want to do it right about the middle of her eye. So, go ahead and take that. There we go. And calm that down. Okay, so now this is going to be where we start. And combing is the most important part of this. Like everything is done with the comb. So what we're gonna do first is, I'm gonna just put a good amount of gel in her hair. This is called a wet set um, hairstyle. So just blob it on there and then put it down on all the sides. There we go. So you do the style wet and then you dry it all the way and then you comb it out. So after she has a good like um, after she has a good amount of gel in her hair, you're gonna go ahead and comb it. And we're gonna start with this top section. So combing is most important. You're gonna make like a C shape. And so you need to just kind of push the hair up and then pull it back down, and you need to do that all the way down to her face. So it's got to have that nice C. So if you need to practice a few times, go over it a few times, bring it all the way up and down, all the way up and down, all the way up and down. So that's going to be the first step. Don't be afraid to go over it a few times just to make sure you get all the hair underneath from the top all the way down to the scalp. It needs to be going the same direction. Okay, so the next step is you're right here. So you're going to go put the comb into the hair and you're going to pull it forward and then turn the comb sideways and pinch it with your fingers and then push it back the other way. And then just hold it with your fingers there until you've gotten all of the hair underneath from the top to the scalp pushed down and combed the right way. You're going to move down to the next section, put your finger on top, pull it down. So the comb goes straight when you're pulling down and then when you flip it, you put it down flat against the head to pinch it and then you dig those little things in the, the comb in, and straighten it out again and you curve the hair back around. And then when you lift up your fingers, you see this shape starting to happen. So we're going to do that all the way around her head. We're going to put the comb in straight up and down, pull it, flip it sideways, and then you do kind of like another little half circle right there and pull it and comb all the hair down. And then this is where your, your hairspray can come in good. Go ahead and spray that down. If it gets, if it starts to get dry, use this to wet it instead of water. So we're gonna keep going. So I'm gonna pull the hair straight up and down like this, flip it, and then roll the comb under. Roll it under. So yep, check and make sure you're getting all that hair underneath, making sure it's following the same direction. So 
So after you've gotten this little section right here done on the top of the head, you're going to move over to this side. Make sure it's still really wet. And then the hair should be kind of combed all back this way, like in a little bit of a curvy shape towards the back of her face. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take it about an inch away from that part. And you're gonna push it forward, flip the comb down, and then roll it towards her face this way. And you're gonna do that all the way around. Look down. Make sure that the hair's really got a good amount of gel and hairspray in there because once this dries, it should be crispy. So now you should be joining up with that other curve that you had from the first little section you had. So when you get to this point, anything that's in front of the ear, like in that curve, just leave it forward like that. We're going to deal with it later. Turn your head a little bit so we are. And then we're going to go down here. You're going to put the head, the, the comb in again, pull it forward, flip it, and then go back down this other way. Put the comb in flat against the head, pull it, flip it, pinch that ridge, comb it the opposite direction. Do it again. Then you're going to leave this little section of hair, curl it back around the ear again. We're going to put that into pink curls too. So there we go. Make this ridge nice. And... Okay, and then you're ready to start on this next one. Oops. If that happens, you just go back up, tuck it in, and recomb it down. And this will be our last one. So now we're, we're done with all of the finger waves. We just need to do pin curls on the rest of the hair that's hanging. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here by our face. Just keep this sprayed with hairspray. Okay, so we're gonna take small sections and we're going to take them and pinch them at the bottom and then ribbon them with the comb. And make sure they're really wet with hairspray or setting gel, whatever. And then you're going to take it and you're just going to roll it up into a curl about the size of the wave. And you're just going to place it right inside of that wave like this. And then we're going to use hair pins or bobby pins, whatever you have. Make a nice little X there to hold all the little ends in. Okay. 
And we ribbon the hair to get it to look like this. That's what you want. And then you're gonna bend it into the curl. So they should just go the same direction and just fit right into that wave. The reason why I like these hairpins is because they don't leave lines in the pink curls. Bobby pins will sometimes leave a little bit of a line. <clears throat> okay, now we'll go down here to this bottom section. We'll just take a little bit of hair at a time. Do the same thing, ribbon it out. And then roll it out. Now this, this is going to give you the really, really authentic look. There's a lot of hair wands and stuff that kind of look the same, but this is really, you'll see the difference when it's all done. That's why I say it's more of like a costume or special occasion do. I'm going to do one last little bit of hairspray over everything. Okay, so all of the pin curls and the, the, the finger rays are in. So what you're going to do now is stick them under the dryer. And I have a hood dryer, so that's the best. Um, or you can just let them wear it like this for the day. If you're doing it for like the next day, you'd need to do this a day ahead for little girls. Um, or you could just hold a blow dryer over it or do one of those like back blow dryers but it needs to dry completely so don't brush this make sure that it is crispy and dry all the way to the scalp it's going to take hours to dry um especially if you don't have a dryer if you have a dryer a really good dryer it would probably take 45 minutes to an hour to dry um if not it could take three hours depending on or more so um Make sure you do it plenty with plenty of time to dry. Okay, so we let her run around and play and it dried really nicely after we left her under the dryer for a little bit. And so now all we need to do is pull out all of these um, hairpins. Bobby pin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're gonna need a soft brush, a soft bristle brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the back, and you can already see that they have like oh, the cute little wavy curl, curly pattern. These patterns. curls look beautiful. And you're just gonna brush it out. I want these curls. Starting at the bottom, so working beautiful. up. Yeah. I want these curls. Okay, they're gonna stay in, Daisy. You're going to make sure you brush through all of it really well. That looks so cute. So you can see how the front's getting that cute wave pattern back to it that's soft. Curly. And curly. Mm -hmm. And so now, as far as styling goes, you could go ahead and you could do 
a day where you just let it be like this, and this will stay in for a few days. I want a hairdo. Mm -hmm. Because of the way we, st we set it. A new hairdo? No. Because of the way we set it, it will stay in for a few days. So the first day you could just leave it down, and the next day you could do like a little updo. And leave in the wave pattern in the front if you wanted to just accent it with this cute little wavy thing. And that's it. You pretty much just comb it where you want it, and then it's done. Thank you.